Hi guys, I want to give you guys a quick update on the status of the sump and the filtration system. I uh, I messed up, kind of, badly. So I, I built this overflow box. You see it's a bean animal. There are three, three drains in it. One over there, one right there, and one right here. And essentially, this is a ghost overflow. It's shaped, you know, just like this. It's shaped like this shape that you see. Well, what I didn't realize, <laughs> And it's just, it's my lack of experience, is that when I ordered this glass, it's a annealed glass, first of all, it's not tempered. So it's, and it's only a quarter inch thick. I thought that the silicone would support it, the tank would support this well enough that there wouldn't be any kind of stresses down here. But it turns out that this, this single piece of glass, and I ordered it this way, this was my idea. It was my, it's my, it's my fault. This single piece of glass was a terrible idea because what ended up happening is the valves, the drain valves, there's one here, there's one facing over, see it down there? These things are essentially pulling, if you look, they're pulling down and the plumbing was hanging down and it was, even though I had it supported underneath the bottom, the plumbing was pulling down on this side of the piece of glass. Basically it was causing, see how this thing is, see the shape? It was causing it to bend like this. It was, well, it's a bad, bad example was causing it to bend like this and that resulted in the box breaking right here in the middle this two inch hole that I had drilled didn't help so this was a terrible idea I should have built two I should have had two pieces of glass you know if there was one piece of glass that went that ran to here and then a joint between the two pieces then the glass could have flexed it would have it would have bent along that along the, the joint of the two pieces but I tried to be cute and order just a single piece of glass. I thought it looked cool, you know, the guy was like, yeah, we can cut, we can cut your glass like that. But, uh, it's not the glass maker's fault. It's my fault for ordering the wrong, <clears throat> basically asking them to fabricate the wrong piece of equipment for me. So, I, now I'm taking this off the tank and this has been messy and it's taken me hours to do and it's just a disaster, you know. I had it looking so good too. See all the color-coded, you know, tubing and the whole thing, it was all run back into the tank. Here's, by the way, here's the top view. I actually kind of like being back here because you can look down at the fish and it looks pretty neat. Let's see him. That's the tank from the back. All the way around. So anyway, I, I have a, board, I have a board, completely aborted mission on the overflow box, the external overflow box. And I am now, I'm building a weir and I'm going to do a a different thing. I'll, I'll do another video and explain how I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do the box. This, this, this really sucked. So I don't, I'm not going to build another one, I don't think. <clears throat> but there you go. Lesson learned. You know, be careful of the stresses that your plumbing places on the, the glass that's, that's going through it. The plumbing can be pretty heavy. Once it fills with water, you know, this is one and a quarter inch tubing. It filled with water and it was heavy enough, I guess, that result in that fracture so and it, by the way it was running when this happened so I walked in the room and I heard water dripping on the floor but fortunately I'm pretty good about you know keeping AC and stuff out of the way so it didn't create too much of a, a hazard but anyway that's the update I will um I will show you guys the new overflow system when, it, when it's done